Tara Reynos says, Bites, how would you see the clips and tweets if it were you who needed support? Nick wouldn't need to look into it to get it in front to support you. Well, that's an interesting uh, super chat because that's a situation that I did face and it did not play out that way. <clears throat> so I, I know that there's a lot of criticism about that I should have I should have reached out to him, you know, personally, all this kind of stuff. Um, okay. Let me just say this about the DUI guy incident. I made, like I said, I made a series of mistakes. One of those big mistakes was making a, a, and I don't want to say ill-advised, but, uh, I made a, I made a video that was, that was, dumb to make. I made, I did the, I made the choice to make that video when I was running on like zero sleep. There was absolutely no way that that was going to be successful. And I remember you and I were talking ahead of time, you know, about my whole situation behind the scenes and I wasn't sure what to do. Um, but I knew that there was, that there were, there were certain things that were getting passed around. And so I wanted to make some kind of a statement I just, at the end of the day, I did the wrong thing. Um, and this after I had already made a statement where I had, I had used the wrong words. I had said something along the lines of like, when we send people into the courtroom, I knew we weren't sending anyone into the courtroom. What I meant to say was that we were, we were helping to facilitate people getting into the courtroom because through my stream, we were, we, we had set up with nurse Liz to, to have line sitters. We had our people that we were, we were actively <coughs> using my channel to try to promote people to try to volunteer their time. So the folks like you, DUI guy, Rob, Ian could all get into the courtroom. Um, and I was concerned about, you know, things being, being seen in a certain way. And, and, you know, and so that, that was what was sort of facilitating this kind of stuff. Um, I, I made some I made some comments that were I didn't intend to make and I knew that I couldn't take them back and so that's why I didn't fight back on it. When I made that that video that was an apology video, it was the most embarrassing, most vulnerable, most humiliating, lowest point of my life. And it was played out for the internet. And it was played out for a lot of people that were already very angry with me because there was there was a narrative out there about what had happened. I had my perspective that I desperately wanted to get out and I felt like I couldn't, I felt like I couldn't do it, um, in the way that I, that was truthful and the way that I, the way that I had like really just, just wanted to get my side of things out on that. And so that was like my attempt to do that. And it was completely unsuccessful. Now, Everyone else in our community that saw that video reached out to me about it. Uh, maybe not everyone, but I would say most people. And, you know, talked about it to me personally. Um, Nick is not one of those people. And I got a lot of ridicule for that video. And then next thing I know, after, after, you know, all of this happening, next thing I know, Nick is, Nick, Nick is not only talking about it, he's dissecting it for a live stream. And, and I, I just, I remember, I remembered feeling like, okay, this is not something that you're going to reach out to me personally to see if I'm okay, to see if I, if you, if, if, if I have a different take on things that have happened, you're going to, you're going to dissect it on a live stream seemingly for super chats and all this kind of stuff. So I just, I was, I was hurt by that, but I wasn't going to hold on to it. And I was just going to say, you know, I suppose that this is, this is just the way that our relationship is. Like I, I had thought we were friends, but I guess that this is more of a transactional kind of thing. And, and to see, to see that get picked apart for the public so that the public can learn at my expense rather than talking to me behind the scenes of this is what you should have done. This is how, how I can counsel you. 
that the only way for me to learn what Nick thought about, you know, like what I should learn from it was through a pu very public dissection in front of a crowd of people that were very happy to also, to also, you know, also come after me for all kinds of reasons. It didn't feel like that's what something that a friend would do. So I just basically from that, from that, I just was like, you know what, then, then I guess that's, that's our, that's the nature of our relationship and that's fine.